So I did mention that the hair clipping materials have already arrived last week, but the scissors didn't. So I'm gonna have to deal with this long hair indefinitely. Welcome to another episode of This Week in Illustrado. It is episode 13 and today we're receiving some greetings from the front lines as well as some messages from England, Dubai, Shaman, Sharjah, the Philippines and more. As always, we hope that you are doing well and keeping safe and in light of recent news, I just want to urge everybody to stay positive and stay optimistic because despite all the bad things that are happening now, better times are surely coming ahead. I'm Paolo Gabriel Benitez and you're watching another episode of This Week in Illustrado. Quarantine edition from home. Updates and news from our friends across our global neighborhood. Hey, this is G for This Week in Illustrado. I'm one of the key workers here in the UK. I work as a frontliner. I'm a nurse. Um, tonight, I'm actually the nurse in charge in one of the COVID units in the hospital. Working in a 12-hour shift, we wear masks all the time, so drinking water is not as accessible as before. So whenever I get the chance, I try to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So what can we do to help boost our immune system during this pandemic? Um, think of your greens, eat healthy, I try to eat healthy, I try all the time, and your fruits as well, um, I take vitamin C supplement every day, I take a thousand milligram, we also know the importance of hand washing, um, wash your hands all the time, it's vital, do some exercise um, at least three, two to three times in a week, a simple jogging or walking, running will do. Self-care. Self-care is very important. I'm an advocate of self-care. I actually do a blog on Instagram. My um, username is HaninSV. You can follow me. Think positive all the time. Try to avoid stress, stress skills. Think of a motivation every day. Stay safe. Fight, fight, fight. Again, this is G for This Week in Illustrado and thanks for watching. What's up you guys? It's Kenneth. Normally I do travel videos, but this time around, because we are staying at home, I thought of sharing with you guys um, a DIY tutorial of how to create your own leather coin purse. So this is one of the items that we are selling in our online shop. Oh, you know, actually, it's the website. So, check me in. Website, ancient website now. Just whenever I travel, I have a lot of coins that doesn't really fit in my wallet. So I thought of creating a separate type of coin purse para lagan na well, of course, coins. Basically, what I'm going to show you is the principle of how you can create your own coin purse from scratch. So there you are, guys. Let's do it. Here are your tools and materials that you're going to use. Well, guys, feel free to use other materials that you can find at home, which you think will be helpful in creating your leather coin purse. As you can see, I also put some in the list as optional. Alright guys, so for the first step, we are going to trace a pattern on the leather and then cut it using a cutter and a steel rule. Just be careful because you can get easily injured in this process. The next step is putting holes on the leather and to do the job I am using a pricking iron. Use a hammer to put some holes on the leather and you can also use a rubber mallet but I find it easier to use a construction type of hammer. This step needs a bit of a technique so if you are stitching leather normally most people use a saddle type of stitching but in this case because we are doing a DIY style stitching we are going to use running stitches back and forth for our lock we are using a button rivet I like using this one because it adds aesthetic to the coin purse so by using a puncher just create a hole on the flap mark 
the point where it will meet the body of the coin purse. In creating the hole, I just poke it with an awl and then make the hole bigger using a scissors. And we are almost done guys! Alright guys, that's it. And hope you guys um, learn something and also you get inspired to do your own crafts. So, it is Yeah, So, it's easy and simple. So, anyone can actually do this. We're done for now. That's our first DIY tutorial. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and also um, in my Instagram. So, follow at Surat Journals and also Ken at Surat. So, see you guys. Thank you. This week in the middle of nowhere. No, just kidding. We're still in northern Germany and it's 12 degrees. It's nice and sunny, quite windy as per usual. And I brought you out here today to show you something special because this bit of the North Sea coastline is actually UNESCO World Heritage because the way the tides have shaped the landscape has created this unique habitat for plants, birds and other animals that don't really exist anywhere else in the world so it's quite special and as you may know one of the positive side effects of the coronavirus is that nature has managed to reclaim some spaces that otherwise are quite busy and here it's no different there is a pair of eagles a male and a female who have built their nest just a couple of hundred meters behind us and have started breeding and we really hope to keep them there so if there's anything like this um, near you just be mindful in other news in germany the white asparagus season has started which is pretty much the nation's favorite crop it's a delicacy and i'll be sure to post some of it on my new food instagram the cheese number so if you would like to see this very special vegetable that only has this very brief harvest season then be sure to follow me that's it for today thank you this is hannah for this week in the straddle bye hi everybody and this week in dubai i'll be teaching you how to make my mom's super smoothie super recipe now, i don't know about you guys but when my mom and i first wake up we don't really have big stomachs meaning we don't have room for a big breakfast yet however what we do need is a little boost to get us through and productive until around lunchtime. So my mom came up with this lovely blend, sorry, of different seeds, yogurt, and fresh fruit um, to keep us going until about noon or 1 p.m. So I'll be teaching you how to make that today. These are our ingredients. You get around 150 ml of milk. Um, side note, my mom refused to be in this video, but she is filming me so she can yell at me if I'm doing anything wrong. Um, about how many grams of fruit? 150. 125 to 150 grams of fruit. Um, 100 grams of your yogurt of choice. Today we have picked a mixed berry, if you can see it. Um, and we picked lactose free, and this is also almond milk, but you can choose whether you want it lactose free or not. These are 20 grams of chia seeds. Yes, I did that right. I got a smile there. Um, and how many grams of pumpkin seeds? 10. 10 grams of pumpkin seeds. Um, you can also substitute this for almonds and other walnuts. Of, walnuts, different nuts or seeds of your choice. And lastly, how many grams of oats? 20. 20 grams of oats or spelt. Um, so those are our ingredients. And yeah, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and blend them all together. Hey guys, it's me, Amar, from the beautiful city of Sharjah. And this week from Australia, I'll be sharing my experience as a university student at House of Online Learning, or the online teaching going. Well, well, it is learning because I'm learning from the teaching. Uni is not chilling, you guys. Work, 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 work. And we are approaching to our finals. And wish me luck. Please.
<laughs> and Ramadan, wow, it has its own joy. If people do practice it, like they will know. And it's diverse from a country to another. Here in the Middle East, and especially in the UAE, uh, we have those brilliant, magical, like family gathering nights and games and stuff. And and this year, gatherings are not there. And we all know why i hate you rona well but like ramadan is here and it is encouraged to be extra kind and extra loving to this world the fasting is still the same it's from sunrise to sunset community work is going on i have heard that a couple of charities are going on across uae um, Taliban is doing something really great in, in helping people to donate more and not to forget that it's a time for reflection, personal cleansing and also connecting to God but also as a family we do have our own traditions and like personal spin to it like for example I love the Musa Salat or TV shows or series that go on for 30 days after iftar like after we are done we would love to sit in front of TV and just watch that that TV show that got released on the first day and then like we we tune in every single day till the end of Ramadan and yeah that's pretty much it I would love to know if any of you do have like a unique experience with Ramadan please share it you can find me on Instagram at Amar underscore Khaled 100 so yeah that's it for this week on Estrado take care and stay safe bye hi this week in La Belle Jungle na ligo ako kasi I know, pwede pala yun, no? Pwede na man daw pala kasi. Sabi kasi nila, wash hands lang daw. Eh, minarapat ko na rin maligo. So, ayan, basa pa yung buko. <laughs> Kamusta naman kayo dyan? How are you guys? How are, lalo na sa mga single, kamusta naman kayo? At ang, ang, ano, mga love in the time of corona, ganyan. Tayo talaga, no? Tayo, tayo, tayo mga single yung medyo na konyotan ng severe nitong pandemic na to. Kasi, alam mo yung, nung, nung bago ng pandemic, ito yung level ng singleness ko. Yung feeling ko, gan, ganto ko kasi nyo. Gano'n ka kasi, ganto ko kasi nyo. Pero nung nagka-pandemic, tapos na uh, isolate ka, yung, yung feeling ko talaga, gan, ganto na, ganto ko kasi nyo. <laughs> Siyempre, di ba? Kasi parang di ka naman makapag-date, magtitender ka nga, or magbabumble, or kung ano mang dating app, or kung, kung saan-saan mo pa naman siya makikilala, ganyan. Eh, magkakakilala nga kayo, magchat-chat kayo, magtatawagan kayo, magzo-zoom kayo. Di naman kayo makapagkita in person. Siyempre, ano din yung, pag nakita kayo in person, ano yung vibe, or whatever. Tapos, it also makes you think, like, what if type ko ba siya kasi type ko siya or type ko siya kasi ang tagal ko nang ang tagal ko nang wala 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 walang human connection so parang gus gus parang parang pag kumakain ka yung gutom na gutom na gutom na gutom na gutom ka na di ba parang may makikita kang moldy piece of bread pero kasi dahil gutom ka na parang wow parang ang sarap ng bread pero hindi kasi bread bread lang siya na may medyo paamag na. So, ay mo kainin yun. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been in isolation for too long. And even though it's been two weeks since um, they lifted the restrictions, I I still... I, guys, I, I want to be honest. I, I just really don't want to go out into the corona. That is not a thing that I want to do. I'm still a bit scared. So I'm 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 just I'm staying home in in the, the in the kagubatan of my cuarto. And yung love in the time of corona. Lavada na lang muna. 
kasi at least you know mabango din naman yon tapos pag sinampay mo siya uh, warm din naman siya kasi mainit na sa labas eh. so pag hango mo sa kanya tapos ibalot mo sa, sa sarili mo yon parang parang hug na rin parang parang niyakap ka na lang din so yun lang <laughs> This is Danabelle for this week in Illustrado and I hope you guys are staying safe and not going as crazy as I am. See ya! <laughs> Ramadan Kareem to our Muslim brothers and sisters from all of us here in Illustrado. I'm Leslie from Riyadh and this week I tried my hands on Arabic calligraphy. Of course you have to know how to read and write Arabic in order to do so. It's a little bit harder with the strokes, the styles, and hand flow, but that's how it is when doing different types of calligraphy, which are Arabic, Western, and Oriental. And there you go. See you all next week. Hi guys, Clara here. Uh, well, today's a beautiful day. Um, from Yemen, okay, um, we are gonna try the first ever for us, for my husband and I and a couple of friends, um, how do you say? Brunch, okay, let's call it brunch, okay? Whoever lives in the Middle East uh, or in the Gulf area like Dubai, Qatar, you know that uh, brunch is a big hit over there. For us, it will be the first time. However, we have received some advice from, from other people that it's more like a buffet lunch here. So no performance, no no games, no much uh, drinking. Uh, one because it's how we handle here in in Chime, and second because of the, the situation. So buffet have uh, reopened already like a month ago, but it has been gradually. Now we are allowed to be seated in table of six people, which is really good. And also another detail is the brunch of buffet, so lunch. It starts here at 11.30. So it's 11.30 right now, and we are walking right now to the Intercontinental, okay, that is in our neighborhood. And uh, lunch, or brunch, okay, is from 11.30 to two o'clock, all right? So let's see how the buffet is once we get there. So guys, we have arrived here at the Intercon. We are queuing. We have to show this healthy coat that you see here that we are allowed uh, to go into our fair. So let's double check. So now we are allowed to go into the restaurants over there at the end. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, we have to queue over here and we have to scan the green coat. So that means that if the coat comes up green, you are free of the of the virus and then you are allowed to walk in into any restaurant. So uh, what I can see, the buffet is quite, is very complete. Yes, now it has been confirmed. Whenever you go to the buffet to serve yourself, you have to wear the mask. All right, so this is something that, uh, let's see how we are gonna do it because when we eat, we have to remove the mask, but uh, yeah, it's part of the health and security at the moment. Uh, so we have desserts over here. We pass all the savories so, uh, already. It's the first time that the buffet, no, it's not the first time. It's already four weeks that the buffet has to reopen. So the display is quite fulfilling as well. It's not that bad. Uh, as we know, uh, slowly, slowly, the, the economy is reactivating here in China. So, uh, so yeah, so this has been all for this week for Illustrado team. This has been Clara from Xiamen, China. Besitos! What tree is that? I don't know. There's they have, we have flowers everywhere because it's spring. Yeah. 
So there we have these things lining the road. The sun is out, but you still can't see people. We can't. We still can't go beyond the yard. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the backyard. My daughter picking flowers. We have flowers on the street. The sun is out. We have like flowers. You can hear the birds. Finally, there's a bird over there. Some people are jogging. Oh, there's a squirrel. Si to talaga yung hobby namin sa likod ng bahay. We watch squirrels. So there's nothing else to do here. We can't go. Where did the squirrel go? We're so excited to go out. A few more weeks. To freedom. So that's our life right now. Still stuck in the backyard. We're gonna open soon. So we're gonna see spring in Canada soon. Hopefully in a few weeks. I don't think the kids will go back to school because yeah, parents are so scared to send the kids back to school. Probably be to schooling for a while, but yeah, we'll probably be able to go out in a few days or support thing Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. See you next time. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? So I hope we are all staying safe indoors and today I'm gonna be sharing with you a very inspiring story of mine. Um, this was today when I met Kat Von D. So Kat Von D is an international known tattoo artist. She's a vegan, a mother, a partner, um, a makeup and shoe line owner, um, a business owner. She also authored three books. So she's a total girl boss. In 2011, I did a painting of her and then posted it on my Instagram, sent it to her on her private message, hoping that one day she would notice me. Fast forward 2015, a friend messaged me on Facebook saying that she's actually coming to Dubai and one way the station is holding a contest um, for the winner to meet and greet her. That was one day before the deadline of the contest. I joined the contest, contacted the radio station, sent to them my painting, the books that I own. Lo and behold, I won the contest. Fast forward again to the day that I met her. I walked in Jigsaw Road carrying a 70 by 90 centimeter painting. I waited for her for a couple of minutes outside the room and when I saw her, I cried. I cried uh, because I didn't actually um, imagine for that day to come that I'm gonna be meeting her. So she hugged me as soon as she saw me. She kept telling me that it's okay and not to cry. She signed my painting and my books and uh, she said that uh, we should take a photo together and that she'll post it on her Instagram and she actually did. So I hope this story inspires you that nothing is really impossible in this life. So if there is a person that you always look up to, there will always be a possibility of meeting that person. If you just really work hard um, in achieving your dreams. So that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and stay safe everyone. See you soon. So hi, this is Precious Kerr for this week's Elastrado. We're currently in Oxford Circus in central London. It used to be the busiest um, place in central London because it's the central shopping center. But it looks like a ghost town now. We're here because I have to accompany my husband because he needs to get something from his office because he's working from home right now but he needs to get something for his work. Now, um, we're in the car, <laughs> waiting for him. With two kids, well, they have, we have to take them with us because I'm, I, I'm with him and nobody will look after the kids. So, they're with us right now and we're just in the car. So look at that. Oh, the shopping 
all the shopping malls, all the shops are closed. You see that behind me? I can't go anywhere too far, so that's it. So we are in town today, and I wanted to show you how our little town looks like during the lockdown. So here's the background. See that? It's very quiet. There's a hotel there, the famous cafe. And there used to be busy cafe. I'll keep moving, hang on. That's my favorite pastry shop. No cakes, obviously. It's very quiet. Very, very quiet. So going out, I always have to have my mask. That's me being considerate, obviously. And um, my gloves. So every time I go out, doing my grocery shopping, I wear my gloves, reusable gloves. So obviously, so I can use it again. <laughs> Same as my reusable mask. We can wash this, sanitize it, and use it again. Very good. So, so that's it, folks. Again, this is Precious Fur for this week's Illustrado. Bye, take care, and be safe. This week from home, not much has really changed in terms of our work from home life. We at Illustrator have been continuing as we are. We recently did a live stream on the PhilHealth 3% contribution, so check that out. Aside from that, we've just been doing our regular thing. Binging Netflix series, binging on food, binging on anime, and binging on gaming. If there's anything that you can do right now if you're missing your friends but you really need to stay at home, I really suggest that you start gaming with them, playing little games like Scribble or playing PUBG for that matter because that's something that we've been doing on our end, me and my college friends, so that we can stay sane. I've also been revisiting my collection of art books and uh, I love to collect art books. Uh, from a lot of Japanese manga artists and some Korean ones as well and this is something that I've actually been doing a lot ever since the time before the pandemic. And aside from that, we know that so much has been happening on the news despite the pandemic and despite all of the progress that we've been made, it's pretty easy to actually get lost in a lot of these political rants on Facebook, a lot of discourse, and oftentimes a lot of passive aggressive fights. So, mga kababayan, especially because so much has been happening in our country right now, I just want to remind you that there's always more to the problem than we think. We cannot approach a multifaceted problem with only a singular point of view. So let's use the time to develop our critical thinking skills and at the same time learn how to regulate our emotions and learn how to pacify some of our more angry thoughts. While it is pretty easy to get lost up in all of these things, remember that we need to keep our eyes at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and also we are moving one step closer every day to finding a cure and we are always moving one step closer to ending the pandemic. In the meantime, let's also enjoy the quietness and the celebration and reflection that Ramadan brings. Whether you're a Muslim or not, this is a good time for us to reflect and bring ourselves closer to the things we love, uh, to God and to our family and so much more. So until then everybody, Ramadan Kareem here from Team Illustrado and we hope that you are doing everything that you possibly can to keep safe. If you want to join us this weekend, you can always send us a video from wherever you are across the world or if you have any opinions to share and whatnot, send them down in the comments section down below. Until then, you can find me at POW Benitez on Instagram and we'll see you next week.